Good morning, guys. Uh, today we have a 30 by 50 by 12 main building with a 10 by, I believe it's nine or 10 foot tall lean-to on the backside. The lean-to is fully open, so I'm, I'm assuming the customer's gonna use that just for you know storing or parking their trailer and whatnot. Uh, this building is a little, uh, what you would say, upgraded. Has a vertical roof, vertical siding, color matching screws. I got 10 by 10 roll-up doors, three of those. One walk-in door. And these roll-up doors, um, they are made by Ask the Door Company. And this particular door has two locks, one here and one there. And they are on the outside. So they do not have locks on the inside at the moment. Uh, any door that's bigger than a 10x10 10 10 will have locks on the inside instead of the outside. As you can see, the color matching screws pretty much makes it look like there is no fasteners on the outside of the building. Um, that is an upgrade. Typically, these buildings come with zinc color screws or silver color screws. Um, so you'll be able to notice that uh, the screw compared to the sheet metal. But if you get the upgrade for color matching screws, you know, it does look... A lot better um, and you do have matching screws for the trim as well so it's not just the siding it's pretty much for any piece on the building I'll demonstrate the uh, roll-up door how it works so got your lock there Up here you have a handle down here does roll up into a canister. Uh, so if your roll-up doors go on the side or what we consider the the length or east side of the building, um, you do have to have at least one foot or two foot of clearance from the door to the, uh, the top of the eave height of the building. That way it gives it enough clearance for the roll, the roll-up door to roll up into. And these are our standard doors, fiberglass, mobile home doors. Um, so, you know, it's you do get two locks for the doors. It's trimmed out as well with J channel. That way you don't have any water going back into the building. Do have an anchor bolt at every stud placement. Make sure the building does not, you know, go anywhere. These are wind and snow rated buildings uh, for your local area. So whenever we do ask for a uh, a zip code, whenever we ask for, you know, uh, a quote, uh, that's the main reason. We just want to make sure that we rate the building uh, according to your local wind and snow, and, uh, snow loads. We'll walk this way towards the back of the building. That way you can kind of see how it looks. So from the peak to the bottom on a 12 foot tall building, uh, 30 foot deep, you're looking at almost 16 feet to, to, uh, to the peak of the building. Here's that lean-to on the back side. It is a continuous style lean-to, so there's no drop down. It just goes off the same roof pitch of the main building. And it was installed on uh, you know, fill dirt or gravel, so there was a little bit of leveling that had to be done by the crew, uh, which is why they had to put these blocks underneath. Um, try to make sure everything is level and plumb that way there's no problems or issues with the building you get a soffit trim all the way around the building got your knee braces on every stud
as you can see with those pillared screws, you pretty much can't see, you know, the screw pattern. Makes it look a lot nicer. Um, you know, if you, this was my building, I would definitely, you know, want to opt for color matching screws. It just makes every building look a lot better. slick of this building came out great if you have any questions about this building or any other sizes please let us know you can give us a call at 336-717-2884 or you can message us on facebook at usa metal structures llc and just let us know what size building you're in the market for and zip code that way we can make sure we uh meet your local wind and snow loads all right, we look forward to hearing from you guys.